You will notice this video demonstrates a direct instruction lesson. Oh, we're gonna be, I'm gonna read you guys a story about rocks. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna go on a rock hunt. And we're gonna see if you guys can find your own rock. This is a story, this is called Everybody Needs a Rock. And this story kind of gives you about, it gives you about 10 little um, to help you find your own rock. Then we're going to come back and we're going to make pet rocks. Let's see if we can remember some of the 10 rules. Does somebody, does anybody remember any of them? Okay. Always sniff them. Never get a big one. Never get a real big one that we can't carry back here. Good. Feel it. Pick your own rock. And pick your own rock. And there is also one about being silent. Don't pick a, a rock no. just because your best friend's picking a rock. Pick one that you're going to like for yourself. Anything else? Yeah. All right, guys. Tired. We're going to leave your pencils, leave everything right here. We're going to just go over right here to the parking lot, right to this, like, dirt mound over there. You jumped out. You found one, John? Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. I got to get up. Hey guys, once you get yours pretty good and cleaned up, set it over here so it can dry in the sun before we can paint. A lot of the time we can tell things about rocks. Rocks can actually tell a story about the different layers. Um, and the way we see these layers is geologists or people who are looking for rocks, they go and they, they dig through the ground and they can tell a lot about people who lived when and and the earth and what was living in the earth because sometimes like animals or bugs and things like that get fossilized and the way we see different layers and they can actually carbon date the different layer of rocks. Creating and illustrating sandwiches allows the students to see how each piece is a layer similar to those of the earth. I have an idea with the balloon right here. Right in the brain. Just do it that way. That's fine. I want to walk on hill. Which one would be sedimentary? Left hand, right hand. Sedimentary? You think it's this one? Yeah. Let me tell you something real quick about sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks, you're often seen in layers, layers of different colors usually. Usually that's the most frequently found, layers of different colors. Metamorphic rocks, on the other hand, are made from like extreme pressure, like crushing or extreme heat. And often in a metamorphic rock, we get sedimentary, which have layers, and we also get parts of igneous rocks, which we know are kind of what? Shiny and glassy? So based on that, now what do we think? Which one's sedimentary and which one's metamorphic? Metamorphic. Metamorphic because? It's made of heat. It's made of heat, and can we see? It has layers. But it also has, what do we notice? Do we see anything shiny in there? Yeah. Yes. see kind of sparkles? Maybe we see in the light. Can you see it? What's that one? This one, this one is a, a metamorphic rock. You're right, because it has layers. And also you can see it has pieces of igneous rock in there as it's well. It's kind of like a sandwich layer. You know, you have bread, then you have cheese, and you have bologna. So like this has brown, and it has more of a black color layer. That is a sedimentary rock. Gemma is using rock-like foods such as sugar wafers, flattened Rice Krispie treats, and hard candy in the next activity. I want you guys, don't say anything. You guys individually are going to be looking at these samples that I have in this bag, and you're going to be telling me whether you think it is a sedimentary rock, an igneous rock, or a metamorphic rock. I know it's not a rock, but based on what we know about the properties of the different rocks, I want you to be able to drawing all three of them. Once you draw one, trade with your neighbor who has a different one. Okay. Okay. Do you want an igneous or sedimentary This is a metamorphic rock because we know what? Heat and lots of pressure. And what did this used to be? It was a rice cream. And what happened to it? It got squished. It got somebody ran over it, huh? What about this, guys? What about no, this sanitary? What do I think this was? Because it's, it's hard. And what was it? Remember that black rock that we looked at? Look at your fire. Right, because it was made in fire. They had to melt this candy and then it hardened, right? You can do whatever you want.